As we've seen all too often, bullying can come in many forms, and many people are unable to escape it after they leave school or work. A father who lost his son brought his crusade to western New York today. News 4's Ed Tranch is back from Orchard Park with the story. Ed? Ed, Dan, and Jackie, his message is hopeful and inspiring, but his story, tragic. John Halligan's son would have been in his 20s today, but his life was cut short because of the torment he faced. Between the father I can't describe the pain of losing a child. I think the only way you can understand this is if you experience it yourself. Ryan Halligan had his tragic story in the spotlight at Orchard Park Middle School. He committed suicide because of bullies in school and online. Ryan is remembered by his dad, John, who is taking his message to the middle school masses. First of all, it's not your fault. It's not about you. It's, there's nothing wrong with you. Um, the problem is with the behavior of this other person. These students are much like Ryan when he took his own life. They are young, impressionable, and unforgiving with their words. Eight years later, Halligan says online bullying is still a problem. You know, one of the mistakes I made is I let him have a computer in his bedroom. And uh, that gave him a lot of opportunity to deal with these issues in a very unhealthy way. Kathy Holmes teaches English. It's words, she says, that are sometimes all too powerful. If, if they could see the impact of their day-to-day -day behaviors, especially their um, electronic behaviors, because that's so impersonal, then I think that they would rethink what they're doing. Aside from focusing on the mental health issues of someone who is bullied, Halligan also tried to connect with the folks who are standing around watching letting them know that they have all the power to stop it. I think they're better equipped to alert the adults, but also start to address the problem itself, uh, especially if it's their friend that's doing the bullying. That message is heard clearly at Orchard Park Middle School. Hundreds of student signatures have been added to these banners, showing they stand up for others. There are warning signs Halligan says parents should be picking up on, something he says he may have missed. He'll be able to speak with parents tonight at 7 o'clock on what they can do to help a child in crisis. Details are available on our website, wivb.com. Reporting live, Edge Ranch, News 4 at 5.